The Apocalypse of St. John, Revelation, written by St. John, Apostle of Jesus Christ, narrated by David Battistella. Chapter 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to make known to his servants the things which must shortly come to pass, and signified, sending by his angel to his servant John who hath given testimony to the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, what things soever he hath seen. Blessed is he that readeth and heareth these words of this prophecy and keepeth those things which are written in it. For the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him that is and that was and that is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of earth, who hath loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us a kingdom and priests to God and his Father. To him be glory and empire for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also that pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth shall bewail themselves because of him. Even so, Amen. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord God, who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and your partner in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the island which is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, What thou seest, write in a book and send to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, and to Theatria, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, like one to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. And his head and his hairs were white as white wool and as snow, and his eyes were as flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as in a burning furnace, and his voice was the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and from his mouth came out a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was as the sun shineth in his power. And when I had seen him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last, and alive and was dead. And behold, I am living for ever and ever, and have the keys of death and of hell. Write therefore the things which thou hast seen, and which are, and which must be done hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks are the seven churches. Chapter 2 Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he who holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them that are evil. And thou hast tried them who say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. And thou hast patience, and hast endured for my name, and hast not fainted. But I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first charity. Be mindful, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and do penance, and do the first works, or else I come to thee, and will move thy candlestick out of its place, except thou do penance. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of Nicolaites, which I also hate. He that hath ear, 
Let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. To him that overcometh I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of my God. And to the angel of the church of Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, who was dead and is alive. I know thy tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich, and thou art blasphemed by them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil will cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, that you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. He that shall overcome shall not be hurt by the second death. And to the angel of the church of Pergamus write, These things saith he that hath a sharp two-edged sword. I know where thou dwellest, where the seat of Satan is, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days when Antipas was my faithful witness, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. But I have against thee a few things, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak, to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat and to commit fornication. So hast thou them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaites. In like manner do penance. If not, I will come to thee quickly, and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give the hidden manna, and I will give him a white counter, and in the counter a new name written, which no man knoweth, but he that receiveth it. And to the angel of the church of Theatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like to a flame of fire, and his feet like to a fine brass. I know thy works, and thy faith, and thy charity, and thy ministry, and thy patience, and thy last works, which are more than the former. But I have against thee a few things, because thou sufferest the woman Jezebel, who calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication, and to eat of the things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her a time that she might do penance, and she will not repent of her fornication. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, And they that commit adultery with her shall be in very great tribulation, except they do penance from their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he that searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give to every one of you according to your works, but to you I say, and to the rest who are at Theatera, whosoever have not this doctrine, and who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will not put upon you any other burden, yet that which you have, hold fast till I come. And he that shall overcome and keep my words unto the end, I will give him power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and as the vessel of a potter they shall be broken. As I also have received of my Father, and I will give him the morning star, he that hath an ear, let him hear, what the Spirit saith to the churches. Chapter 3 And to the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Know thy works, and that thou hast the name of being alive, and thou art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things that remain, which are ready to die. For I find not thy works full before my God. Have in mind, therefore, in what manner thou hast received and heard, and observe and do penance. If then thou shalt not watch, I will come to thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know at what hour I will come to thee. But thou hast a few names in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, because they are worthy. He that shall overcome shall thus be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, and I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, 
let him hear what the Spirit say to the churches. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things saith the Holy One and the True One, He that hath the key of David, He that openeth and no man shutteth, shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have given before thee a door opened, which no man can shut, because thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will bring of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and adore before thy feet, and they shall know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. He that shall overcome, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. And to the angel of the church of Laodicea write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, who is the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. But because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will begin to vomit thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and made wealthy and have need for nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy me of gold, fire tried, that thou mayest be made rich and mayest be clothed in white garments, and that the shame of thy nakedness may not appear. And anoint thy eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Such as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Be zealous, therefore, and do penance. Behold, I stand at the gate and knock. If any man shall hear my voice and open to me the door, I will come in to him, and I will sup with him, and he with me. To him that shall overcome, I will give to sit with me in my throne." as I also have overcome, and I am set down with my Father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. Chapter 4 After these things I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard, as it were, of a trumpet speaking with me said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee the things which must be done hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, there was a throne set in heaven, and upon the throne one sitting. And he that sat was to the sight like the jasper and the sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats four and twenty ancients sitting, clothed in white garments. And on their heads were crowns of gold. And from the throne, proceeding lightnings and voices and thunders, and there were seven lamps burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And in the sight of the throne was, as it were, a sea of glass like to crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four living creatures, full of eyes before and behind. And the first living creature was like a lion, and the second living creature like a calf, and the third living creature having the face as it were of a man, and the fourth living creature was like an eagle flying. And the four living creatures had each of them six wings, and round about and within they are full of eyes, and they rested not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and who is, and who is to come. And when those living creatures gave glory and honor and benediction to him that sitteth on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty ancients fell down before him that sitteth on the throne and adored him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, 
Thou art worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, because Thou hast created all things, and for Thy will they were and have been created. Chapter 5 And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book, written within and without, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man was able, neither in heaven nor on earth nor under the earth, to open the book nor to look on it. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open the book nor to see it. And one of the ancients said to me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I saw, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the ancients, a lamb standing as it were slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne. And when he had opened the book, the four living creatures and the four and twenty ancients fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and gold and vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung the new canticle, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to take the book and to open the seals thereof, because thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God in thy blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us to our God a kingdom and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels around about the throne and the living creatures and the ancients, and the number of them was thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, The Lamb that was slain is worthy to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and benediction. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them, I heard all saying, To him that sitteth on the throne and to the Lamb, benediction and honor and glory and power for ever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the four and twenty ancients fell down on their faces and adored him that liveth for ever and ever. Chapter 6 And I saw that the Lamb had opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures, as it were the voice of thunder, saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, And there was a crown given him, and he went forth conquering that he might conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And to him that sat thereon it was given that he should take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And a great sword was given to him. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Come and see, and behold, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard, as it were, a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, Two pounds of wheat for a penny, and thrice two pounds of barley for a penny, and see, thou hurt not the wine and the oil. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature, saying, Come and see, and behold, a pale horse. And he that sat upon him, his name was Death, and hell followed him. And power was given to him over the four parts of the earth, to kill with sword, with famine, with death, and with the beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, Dost thou not judge and revenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? And white robes were given to every one of them one, and it was said to them that they should rest for a little time till their fellow servants and their brethren, who are to be slain even as they, should be filled up.
And I saw when he had opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the whole moon became as blood. And the stars from heaven fell upon the earth, as the fig tree casteth its green figs when it is shaken by a great wind. And the heaven departed as a book folded up, and every mountain and the islands were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the princes and tribunes and the rich and the strong and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of mountains. And they say to the mountains and the rocks, Fall upon us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth upon the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath is to come. And who shall be able to stand? Chapter 7 After these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that they should not blow upon the earth, nor upon the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the sign of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, till we sign the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them that were signed. A hundred and forty-four thousand were signed of every tribe of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Gad, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Asha, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Simeon, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Levi, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Issachar, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Joseph, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, twelve thousand signed. After this I saw a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne in the sight of the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, who sitteth upon the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and the ancients and the four living creatures. And they fell down before the throne upon their faces and adored God, saying, Amen, benediction and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the ancients answered and said to me, These that are clothed in white robes, who are they? And whence came they? And I said to him, My Lord, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they who come out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and have made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God, and they serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell over them. They shall no more hunger nor thirst, neither shall the sun fall on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall rule them, and shall lead them to the fountains of the waters of life, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. The Apocalypse of St. John, Revelation, written by St. John, Apostle of Jesus Christ, narrated by David Battistella.